We're working on an origami-based deployable ballistic barrier that will keep emergency personnel safe during a hostile situation. We met with federal agents that often use current shields and asked what could help them to better do their job. Current products out there are about 90 pounds. So that's pretty heavy for one person to carry, and it only protects one person. Our goal was to go for 50 pounds and protect two to three people. This pattern is a Yoshimura crease pattern. And when it deploys, it provides these nice angles, which we hope will be an even more effective shape for a barrier. So going from paper to other materials can be really challenging. It has 12 layers of Kevlar with an aluminum core in the middle. The students did a lot of calculations, and 12 layers is really what you need to be able to withstand a bullet from a handgun. One of the great things about this particular fold pattern is that it opens and closes really easily. In an emergency situation, you've got to be able to just get that thing open and get it in the way. Today's objective was to see if it worked, if it actually stops bullets. My first thought was, did he miss? <laughs> so I went back to the high-speed camera that had been filming and the bullet sunk right in. Range is hot. It was exciting to see that it did stop the bullets, and we were able to successfully demonstrate it with 9mm, 357 Magnum, and 44 Magnum pistols. The federal agents that saw our initial prototype were really excited about it. Their response was that this is a revolutionary product. My dad is actually a police officer himself. This could be something that could be used by him or other officers that could prevent injury or even save their lives. 